Bowman, it's Nomad. Send traffic. The Bodarks control the Aurora data farm because, of course, they do. Your objective is to take it back without damaging it. Apart from being an eyesore, it contains all data on island wide scale tech. The closest thing Aroa has to a Federal Reserve. Predictably, Edo is eager to preserve it. When it comes time to negotiate with other countries, the Outcasts can use that data as a bargaining chip. It's up to you to capture the building and give the Outcasts the green light to conquer the region. I'll do a recon. Not sure what's going on with my helmet there, but <laughs> there's some weird glitches going on there. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a lot of dead people there. What the hell is going on to this place? If the Bodarks sabotage the water cooling system, they'll destroy the data farm. And they want to blow the backup servers nearby too. Before securing the data farm itself, neutralize the Bodark officers in charge of sabotaging the backup servers and the water cooling systems so they don't succeed. All right. Lots of dead people there. These civilians were brutally executed. Some are still missing. Damn it. The Bodarks will have taken hostages to oversee maintenance of the data farm. If you free them, the outcasts could redirect their troops to help you. Okay, we got some drones on the ground as well. We got to worry about if we do decide to attack this place at some point. This will be tough. If you destroy the delivery VHCs before you attack the data farm, there will be less drones to protect it. Good point there, Bowman. Got a chopper there. So get a closer look at it. Get a closer look on this. Helicopter. There we go. Bodarks around it. They'll be quick to respond here. It'd be a good idea to prevent reinforcements from acting, so you should destroy the choppers they'd use to reach the data farm. Knock out the destabilization missions first. Then you'll need to secure the backup saves and water cooling system before you go in the data farm for the grand finale. Copy. Nomad out. There we go, and I will begin our conquest in this region. Let's see what we got here, everybody. What kind of judges we got? Uh, let's see, what should we do? Remove reinforcements, that would be nice. Destroy enemy vehicle. Since that one's pretty close, we could hit that one. And let's see. This one here we could hit as well. This one we gotta rescue all hostages without being seen. Hmm. So that's another self one. Not a fan of those. And then we got another one we gotta blow up all the vehicles. Okay, it's talked about blowing up vehicles. I like the sound of that. Alright, this is as close as we can get without getting blown up by the Sams. So we're gonna drop off here. Got a lot of assholes here. Right, it's a little bit chilly, so we decided to switch gear as well. Take those suckers out. Let's go. Let's take them out. Excellent. Good hits. Yeah, there was no way we're gonna get closer to the base. Seriously, nobody is stupid enough to be out here in this cold. You'd be mistaken, my friend. Nope. Go to sleep. So I'm gonna assume this is one of the vehicles we gotta blow up. Yep. Helicopter. Let's clear this whole area out first before we even try to blow up this stuff. Yeah, this, this is it's pretty snowy out here, that's for damn sure. Alright, see what we got here. Radio guy, coyote, that's for damn sure. Another vehicle got destroyed. How many got destroyed? Potentially five. Heads up, bad guy over there. Another one there. Another one there. How much do we got so far? One, two, three. And then we got four down here. All right, so where's the fifth vehicle we got destroyed? Over 
Gonna be inside one of these hang uh, this hangers. Lots of activity right there. There's the radio at dick bag right there that needs to die. Alright, it's time to go in. Really took his ass out. What's got? Got the fucking face shield. Ooh, excellent. Combat drones flying. Always good to have more firepower. Turn that shit off. See ya. There's the fifth vehicle. Alright, what we're gonna do? Gonna check that one out right there. With the airstrike. Destroy that. Objective destroyed. Really now? Wow, that freaking airstrike sucked, by the way. There we go. Not sure what's up with that airstrike thing, but it's fucking, it's pretty, it's pretty much a piece of shit at this point. Hostages are about to be executed. We need to neutralize the Bodarks without getting spotted. Okay, so this is the hostage rescue mission. We got about, got about four people. We gotta make sure they are Safe and sound, that's one inside looks like. Not sure where's the fourth person at. I'm gonna assume, okay, they're all inside that building looks like. No radio guy looks like. Okay, so what we probably can do, i right, take this suckers out. Take those suckers out. Okay, I didn't pull the trigger yet because it's got another asshole going up there. You know what? Take this, this asshole's out. Because I don't think these guys are not going to move. Take that sucker out. Alright, nice and easy. So well, looking good so far. Roger, getting in position. Roger that. Moving now. On your go, ghost lead. Has hers on target. Jesus! They're gone. Now you're just showing off. Scanning the location. Now we get to my position. Got it. Looking good. Looking good so far here. Probably take those guys out now. Let me get a clean shot. Move again. They got that sniper as well. Still in sight. Got that sniper. Must take him out. Whoop. Well done. For some reason, they got spooked. That's not good. Sabotage, please. Okay. 
be okay now. Gotta deal with this asshole here. Kill a guy in there to get through there. Looks like someone came. Yep, you damn right. <laughs> yes. Right, get your ass over here. Gonna need your corpse to get through that door. Alright, this is one more guy. And he has a hostage, so we're gonna have to be real careful here. Sleep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. New knife animation there, see? Alright, you're free to go. I'm here to save you. It's so very secure I'm now. This fucking game. This fucking game is stupid, man. Release! Fuck, man. Fucking shit ass game. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Be careful. Bodarks are still in the area. Read this person, please. Oh my god, this game is retarded. The Bodarks want to execute everyone that worked on the data farm's maintenance. The outcasts will protect you in the farm. Alright, now we got everybody free. Now we gotta get them out of here without them blowing up from the goddamn mines. My chopper is all the way back there. Let's well, see, we can't let them get killed after how far we got into this freaking damn area. If they get killed right now, I'll be so pet. I'll be so mad right now. Thank you. The data farm is in danger. I hope they don't get to the backup servers too. They'll be indispensable if the farm is destroyed. Now you're safe. Don't worry. The outcasts will help me protect the farm. There we go. Got the hostages, uh, got the hostages safe and sound. Oh god, oh god the fucking Sam side, the Sam side, the fucking everywhere. They're everywhere. Alright, so this is the place we gotta hit with the vehicles. And then we gotta kill the saboteur as well, it looks like. Got three Bulldog military scientists in one area, and then we got then we got another scientist to take out. They're all kind of spread out, looks like. Keep an eye on and we got eight vehicles here to blow up, which is insane. That took way too long, man. We had no ammo, literally no ammo for explosive to fucking destroy all eight vehicles, which is insane. Did what we can here. I think it's time we get the heck out of here. I'm not sure what's the max rank though. I think rank 50 might be the rank uh, max in this game. Not entirely sure. But regardless, we're getting the heck out of here. We're moving on to the main mission. All right, here we go. We're gonna kill one of the saboteur here. It's a pretty hot area. No way they're calling for reinforcements like a little bunch of pussies they are. Fucking cowards. All right, let's go. I think everybody's dead already. 
They don't fucking do shit because there's so many fucking laser grids I have to worry about. If I walk into them, I'm gonna I'm gonna literally die from it. So I couldn't fucking rush in there. But my teammates can, so that's fucking realistic. That is absolutely realistic, everybody. I don't know how that guy even got to the other side there. And we're still getting reinforcements, so because they're still calling more. I don't know when I don't know when my teammate went, so I have no idea where they're at, guys. This game is retarded. They seem to know where they're going. Oh wow, you you, you broke your foot. Fucking pussy. Handle it, Jesus Christ, dude. I didn't do shit at all in that, guys. I can fucking worry about not getting hit by that laser every freaking time. That was fun. Oh my god. Everybody's down. Oh, go oh boy. I gotta save my dumbass team now. Cool. That's what I wanna see. Can I just shoot this fucking grid? Guess not. Dude, why there's so many laser grid, dude? Come the fuck on, game. I literally, I can't go nowhere in this fucking place without ha dealing with the fucking gas, everybody. I can't, I can't go anywhere. I can't fucking go anywhere at all. It's like every goddamn entrance is, there's gotta be a fucking goddamn laser grid everywhere, dude. I need, now I need to get the heck out of here. Look at this, look how many fucking laser grids are here. That's way to show up in one fucking area, you fucking dumbass. You guys are fucking idiots. Oh my god, dude, there's so many. Why is there so many laser fucking grids? I can't go nowhere, guys, in that fucking place because there's so many lasers. I don't got the fucking EMP grenades to fucking get rid of those. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Now I gotta do this shit again now. Fuck, man. Alright, now we're in the next area where we gotta kill all the shitheads. Got a couple of assholes in Cloak Array because they're a little bunch of bitches. Listen, I'm not a pussy to use Cloak. Alright, so who we, who we looking for here? Real guy's priority, of course. Can't see shit through this crap. There's a power right there. You can use that as the symbol. All the lights in this area. Over there. Okay, there's one asshole. Got a couple of guys down there. I believe there should be three. Yeah, there should be three. We haven't found the dirt guy yet. Okay, yeah, dirt guy's in there, looks like. Check them out. Kill confirmed. One less engineer to worry about. All right, let's go down there. Let's go down there, clean some house. Cause I'm about to blow this game to hell, man. If I had to run to any more bullshit. But well, maybe I have to use the cloak. I haven't tried to use the cloak. Maybe that's the only way to pass the stupid lasers, probably. Fuck you. There's a new equipment here we haven't found yet. Hopefully it's something good. Not a radio asshole. Great. Exactly what I needed. Yeah, that would have been that would have been nice. Did it fucking earlier. Yeah, yeah shut up. Go to sleep. Piece of shit. Target down. I gotta take this guys out quick. Woo! 
Excellent. Get that money. Gotta worry about the cloak guards, because once they disappear, we can't see them. Alright, buddy. You are dead. Go to sleep. I don't like the sound of that. Nothing's going on. But let me take a look around. Let me see that guy. Roger, moving. Why is it only me that has to patrol when it's cold? Again. Ready, go, sleep. I got that rocket gunner. Rocket gunner. Woo! Oh, they're, they're gone. He won't be missed. Kept the boat arcs away from the water cooling system and backup. There we go. We're good. They won't reorganize in time to react. Now I can secure the data. Uh, saboteurs are gone. We are good, G. We're very good. Let's get the points here. I think we're ready to start the data farm now. Gotta kill everybody that's on me to judge if. Easier said than done. Alright, we got everything in this place, right? Because I don't have been looted this place before. That's why we got all the good stuff. Alright. Now that we got that shit set up, now we can actually get down here. Neutralize everybody on the tech data, and boom, should be good. You. All right, here we go. We're gonna assault this whole place. Gonna get in one hell of a fucking ride. Eyes on the mini gunner. Try to make this quiet, if we can. Moving to position. I'll get away on the ground. And people here didn't stand a chance. Nothing we can do for them. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disable the freaking. Turn off the turrets for now. Let me see what we're up against. Okay, go to sleep, dude. Lots of dead people here. Hostile identified. Over there. Moving to the target. Roger. Moving to target. Ready, boss. I'm locked on the hostile. Enemy target locked. They're dead. Woo! Good hits. That was close. Ooh, there was another guy right there. Didn't realize he was there. There's a lot of fucking assholes here, right? Hello. Ooh. Look. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Oh, hello. Ooh. Looking good. Looking how it is look. Gotta go to the base though. Take out everybody. Let's get our SMG out. Ooh, this is a big place. Very big place. That was nothing, my friend. Absolutely nothing. Something you shouldn't be aware about. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I still gotta worry about that one guy right there. Still got a few people we gotta take out, still. So. Gotta take on everybody in this damn base. It's like a total clean sweep. Bye. Clean kill, ghost. Hell yeah. I think we might have cleared the whole building. Now we gotta clear the... Gotta clear the outside of the building now. It's gonna be quite a bit. 
Fucking Jesus Christ, that guy scared me. My teammate! Looks like there's another underground area too. Looking good! I have no idea how the hell we're gonna get down there though. Gotta find a way to get down there. Wipe out everybody down there. And that should complete our objective. Now we would get support from the outcast, but because we're doing so fucking awesome in the stealth, I don't think we're not gonna need the help. Cause we're doing a pretty good job by ourselves already. Heads up, that guy over there. Nice shot. Yeah, we got some bulldogs and cloak guys, looks like. Alright, come on. We gotta be getting pretty close. Gotta be getting pretty close here to freaking wipe this whole area out. <laughs> See ya. Off you go, son. Dude, that, this two guys should be the last unless I'm missing some guys in cloak. There's uh, gonna probably be a lot more. Judging from the size of this place. See ya. Holy shit. Nice shot, boss. Alright, is it really worth going for that chest? Nah. Alright, now we gotta hopefully this is the last guy that we gotta deal with. Hopefully this is the last guy. Looks like some sort of garage. Looks pretty clean. Has no idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, that's the, as everybody now. <laughs> wow. That, that could have probably been a lot harder if we just went gung-ho. Mission accomplished. The data farm is ready for the outcasts. Thanks to you, priceless data has been preserved. Now we have the upper hand for the upcoming international negotiations. The Bodarks managed to get away with some data. It's impossible to know just what. I'm sure that'll bite us in the ass at some point. Data we uncovered points to a significant Bodark structure. We can't conclude anything definitive, but it looks like a recording studio. What the fuck do the Bodarks need a recording studio for? Beats me. I'll look into it. Nomad out. Switching to night vision. Nomad, all the intel you gathered paints a grim picture. Mass executions. Israel's equipped with bombs. Jeremy Park stage accusation of Russia. And warrant officer Vasily Kropotkin's involvement. Kropotkin is compiling recordings to upload onto the internet to attract attention. He's targeting Russia by feeding disinformation to the world to disrupt global diplomacy and ignite a major crisis. Most importantly, the data farm investigation revealed that Kropotkin has set up some kind of fortified film studio to broadcast his documentaries. You need to infiltrate it and neutralize Kropotkin before he starts something we can't fix. Prevent the broadcast and destroy those videos. Copy. Those films will never see the light of day. How are you doing? Out. I just get Ooh, here we go. Gonna kill the head honcho now. So first we gotta take out Vasily, and we gotta prevent the broadcast from happening too by uh, hitting his laptop and we got two options looks like we got either kill or capture the target and stop his plan We're gonna try to be really buzzy and try to capture him It's a pretty far away place too uh, But we could definitely make this work Our chopper is just over here So let's head over there and see what we can do see if we can capture his ass Then we'll fucking blow his brain off That was bad. <laughs> Didn't even look where I was going. <laughs> Absolutely fucked that up. Du -du -du. All right, we're just gonna fast forward to nearby Bunavac and just head on there. We'll probably go there by foot because nor my dumbass can fly. It's probably best not to fly it over there. All right, so that's the place we gotta hit. So we gotta kill or capture him. Like I said, it's gonna be pretty ballsy. Well, I'm going to try to capture him. See if we can capture his ass. Probably a good place to stop our park our chopper here. Yeah, we'll park it here. 
we're going by foot. Could have probably shoot him in the leg if possible. Well, we're got, definitely going to kill him with the rest of his goons, though. So you got a sniper up there, of course. Let's get our drone up. So one sniper. Got a searchlight. Got a hostile. Bunch of boils. A sentinel looks like. Well, well, well. Breacher sighted. Got some civilians here too. Bunch of good shit. Uh, it looks pretty heavily fortified. It. That's Kropotkin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well. Really pleased with himself. Well, that's where he's at. Alright, he's there. Alright, we need eyes on a radio guy. I'm pretty sure there's a fucking radio guy here. There's gotta be a radio guy. Yep, radio guy spotted him. Take that guy out first, should be good. Alright, well, then we're good. Take out the sniper here. Take out that light. No, nothing to, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here! It's time we move up. Dude, there's a lot of points here. Get the suckers out. Good work, Fury. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another radio guy. We gotta keep an eye out. Looks like everybody's gonna be in there. Looks like. Oh boy, man! The filmmaker has so many fucking heavy. This guy is it's literally a goddamn bitch. Like I'm not even joking right now. It's like you need that much protection. It's like this guy is a fucking joke. Who are you? Who are you? Moving again. Roger. Moving. Oh. No. They don't know we're still here. Wait, a guy. Nope. Alright, I think the spook at this point. Of course we're gonna need a body. Well, lucky for you, my friend. You are the contender, uh, the contender, the contender, the contender. <laughs> Alright. Get over here, because we're gonna definitely need to take all that points there. Get over here. Alright. Look at all this goodies. You think I'm gonna leave all this shit behind? Hell no. That's three camo points for us to take. That's 400 each, too. I will take it! Alright, we're going in, baby. We're going in, baby. We're going in! It's time to kick the door. <laughs> oh shit. We grab this bitch ass. Combat drone active. Time to shine, buddy. Nope. Got your ass. Hello, Kropotkin. Please! Don't hurt me! That's not up to me, comrade. You'll be in the outcast hands soon. All right, now we gotta bring him down there now. If I can find a way to get down there. <laughs> then there's a door that leads down there. It should be good. I think I remember hitting this place. I think you had to go to this place at some point in the main story. 
And I think there's a set of stairs we can go down to. Alright, it's time to distract his ass. Alright, Vilsili, you are gonna be in a world of hurt, my friend. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna be in a world of hurt, my friend. Get your ass out of here. Just like good old times. The good old Wildlands time. Let me go. Have mercy. The outcasts will kill me. I wouldn't blame them, but they aren't monsters like you. Okay, so I'm in a helicopter. Alright, get your ass in there. Alright, now we gotta go back in there and stop the, the broadcast now. There we go, got him out of the freaking picture. Time for us to stop that broadcast. Alright, let's try this. Let's see if I go cloak mode. Let's see, would it still trigger sale? Nope, it's still trigger sale. Nope, so even that even that idea was a fucking myth for Buster. Buster that myth. Thought going to the freaking uh thing with while well, cloak mode will prevent, you know, the gas, but guess not. So the game really expect me to use all the EMP grenades essentially, which is not gonna happen because I didn't have enough EMP grenades to get rid of the damn lasers. Alright, let's let's stop this podcast. Not sure what the outcast's gonna do with him. They're probably gonna kill him for the bullshit he's done. Okay, but we'll see. I've killed the broadcast. Nothing has been aired. That's how it's supposed to look like. Jesus Christ. Alright. So now we did capture him, so we'll see what happens. Bowman, this is Nomad. The broadcast hadn't started yet, and now it never will. I've captured Kropotkin. I'm relieved you took the initiative to bring him in alive. We'll squeeze him for intel. And hey, we already found an audio recording on him. Let's hear it. Kropotkin, we need you to broadcast your activities once we complete our mission. Public pressure should force the U.S. and their friends to launch a disorganized attack on Sentinel and the wall, giving the Bodarks enough time to disappear. An open conflict will lead to destruction of our own resources, along with proof of our involvement. We have to analyze the voice encryption. The last thing we need is pressure on the U.S. and its allies to intervene on Aroa, or to radicalize Russia further. We got Kropotkin talking. Didn't take much. He confirmed everything we just heard. Said that the Bodarks plan to swoop in, loot any usable tech, and leave a trail of destruction to distract from their involvement. They never intended to settle on Aroa for long. The Wolves and Sentinel are just cannon fodder for them. This could be a sign of an SVR false flag operation, or a hint to something more nefarious, involving an organization that won't hesitate to incriminate Sentinel and the Wolves in service of a larger plan. The destruction of Aroa will prevent anyone else from using Skelltech. Copy. Nomad out. Whoa! Big conspiracy! There we go, guys! There we go! We got a bunch of new equipments. We took out one of the big head honcho. We took him in alive. Because I felt like it. And I felt it was a red thing to do. So that way we get some more intel from these fuckers. Alright, there we go guys. We have we have completed one whole region. We captured one of the big head honcho guy. So he's pretty much fucked. I think the next region we're gonna hit is gonna be uh it's gonna be this three right here on the left. Now there is a no fly zone of course that we definitely gotta take out. And then of course we gotta take out the other region and then of course we gotta head to Golem Island. That's gonna be of course the finale. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the finale because there's no way we'll be able to get through there. Or do any mission at least at the moment until we, we liberated all of this region here. But there we go guys. Operation Modern Land for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I will return in uh, conquering the other region but that's gonna take some time. So like I said I'm just gonna take a, a quick break from the game. You know, just to, you know, just to set it down a little bit, play some other games in downtime before I come back and play some more, you know, Ghost Recon Breakpoint and finishing off Operation Motherland. Uh, what I think about it, I think it's, it's definitely a nice change from the main game from what it was. The main game, in my opinion, was just, it was kind of kind of tedious, especially you do all the side missions and especially the main, most of the main mission you do in this game is pretty tedious as well. Especially in the mission where you gotta escort hostages and then you're forced to engage everybody along the way. And I don't know, it, the story is kinda, kinda mediocre. But overall, Operation Barland has turned out to be a good, a good return for uh, people to come back into this game. Cause right now, I think the game is in a decent state right now. Now granted, the game is not perfect. 
of course. It's not a perfect game, but this uh, this new up to definitely brought some life back into the game, and hopefully. We get a new Ghost Recon game, or maybe a year three for Breakpoint. I think at this point, I think we definitely need a new Ghost Recon game for sure. Uh, but overall, though, I definitely enjoy my time playing Operation Mindland. Definitely a huge challenge, uh, challenge playing this game on extreme difficulty. Not that the AI can do a lot more damage, and they can detect you a lot faster. So now it makes me, you know, a little bit more, you know, cautious of how I do my missions now instead of just going in there ramble. Now, granted, I still kind of. I still kind of go in there and ramble it still, but I'm definitely taking it a lot safer for sure. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos so far for Operation Bottomland. I know I am. And if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you guys didn't, hit the dislike button. It's all up to you. If you guys want to see some more Ghost Recon or any other games you want to suggest for me to play, leave it in the comments down below, and I will check them out. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint videos as we will take on the, the latest region right here. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.